Hey, what's going on guys? So you know it's best here and Apple just got done revealing the iPad 2 and I have a lot of information to go over. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And the first thing is about the internals. Apple's going to be making this thing faster. It's going to, now it's going to feature an A5 dual core processor which is going to provide up to two times better overall performance and up to nine times better performance in graphics or so games and multimedia is going to look awesome now. And also it's going to have front and rear facing camera. The rear facing camera will shoot 720p HD video and also it's going to be 33% thinner than the previous generation iPad that's just amazing and also it's gonna be even thinner than the iPhone 4 which if you look at the iPhone 4 is pretty thin in itself so it's gonna be pretty cool to see a tablet thinner than that and it's gonna be black and white versions of this tablet available at launch no waiting for the phantom white iPhone 4 here um, also it's gonna have AT&T and Verizon 3G coverage built into every single iPad so you have a choice about which carry that you want to go with and I can't wait to see them battle out about the prices for the data plans there and also it's going to have HDMI out. It's full HDMI out to your TV uh, using an adapter. And I think the adapter costs about $40. Yeah, I know. But it says it's going to be able to do HDMI out, which works with applications. And it'll still charge your iPad. And there's no setup involved uh, with that. And it's going to still have the same 10-hour battery that you get with the first-generation iPad, even though it has better specs overall. So when is this thing going to be coming out? Next Friday, March 11th. That is the launch date for the iPad. Now, I just visited the Apple Store online. It doesn't look like you can pre-order it. So you're going to look like you're going to have to wait in line on the 11th in order to get it, get your hands on it first. Or you can, uh, on the 11th, you'll be able to order it and have it shipped to your house. And um, the prices for this thing is pretty good, too. They kept the same prices for the most part overall. Still $499 for the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version. Uh, but the biggest, the top model is $829, but that's Wi-Fi and 3G built into it compared to what the latest tablet, the uh, tablet, the Zoom, which is uh, eight hundred dollars, even though it still only has 3G, is upgradable to 4G, but that's still eight hundred dollars for only 32 gigabytes. Okay, so the prices for the iPad are pretty awesome. They still kept the same price point. That's going to be good for consumers. And also, they, they showed off this new case and cover for the iPad. Well, I don't, I don't they don't necessarily call it a case. Uh, some type of material, I think Polar or leather, I don't know what it is, but either a leather case you can now buy for it. I think it's about 30 bucks or so, maybe 40 bucks. And, uh, and it's cool because it has a little magnetic thing on the actual flip itself, so it's going to be on top of your screen. And once you pull the case open, it'll automatically turn your iPad on. If you close the case, it'll turn your iPad off, which is pretty cool. Uh, but you're going to probably want a, a better third-party case to give full protection on your iPad in that case. And also, Apple went over the uh, new, brand-new iOS 4.3. It's going to be coming out for the iPad 2, iPad 1, um, iPhone, and also the iPod Touch next Friday, too. And it's going to be bringing hotspots to all iPhone 4s. Uh, it's going to have better AirPlay, AirPlay capabilities. And also, it's going to have photo booth and FaceTime applications now. So that's cool. So now with the iPad 2, of course, with the front-facing camera, you can now do FaceTime chats with other iPads. Plus, you can also do FaceTime chats with other iPhone 4s. And again, that's going to be launching on the uh, 11th as well. And also, Apple showed off some brand new iMovie and GarageBand applications, which are really, really full feature. And I'm going to put up a couple of pictures here, but you probably won't have to watch the video to really see for yourself that these applications almost rival uh, the desktop applications for iMovie and GarageBand. So that's pretty awesome. One thing with, Gar with GarageBand, if you're editing uh, a song or something like that, um, you can sync it to your desktop and it'll sync automatically, bring over that data to your GarageBand on your desktop and you can pick up right where you left off. And both of those are going to be $4.99 each and those are going to be available on the 11th as well. So that's it. That's what everything that Apple is covering. I went over a lot of stuff here. Link it down below to the official Apple video if you want to check that out. But the iPad 2 looks to be like a winner. They kept the same price point. It's, going, it's right on par as far as hardware with all these new tablets coming out, and it's just it already has the applications there already. So the iPad 2 looks to be a winner to a lot of people, and I had a live stream with about 5,000 people in there. Most people tend to agree, but I'm interested in what you think. Leave a comment down below about what you think about the iPad 2, how you think it's going to stack up against these new Android tablets. Are you going to be getting one now? I'd love to see what you guys think. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.